Greetings, friend. I'm going to show you how to solve this hard Sudoku by Chaotix by using an XY chain. The cells I find to create the chain is going to surprise you, so you got to watch this. Also, got some fun facts about my Friday featured setter. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, you can see that you got two ones here, and this one only makes one place for one up here in block one. All right, and now with these two ones, we have two possibilities for one up here in block two. So what I just did is called Snyder Notation. Anytime in a three by three block, two possibilities for a candidate. You want to mark that in case you solve one of them. You solve the other one right away. Okay, don't see other marks for the ones. Then with the twos, we got twos here, and this two means there's two possibilities for two right there. So I'll mark those. And then with the three, you know, if you look around in here, you might know something kind of interesting here. Notice you have a four, five, six, seven right there, and I'll color that in orange. Then you have a one, two, eight, and nine right there, and I'll color those in blue. Whenever you have eight cells, eight digits looking at the same cell, you know you can solve that cell because it can't be a one or a two, can't be a four five six or seven eight or nine this has to be a naked single three i like how chaotix put this in here and then because the one and nine are right there the only two places left for the one and nine are right here in block five so that's a hidden pair which leads the six and seven to be in these two spots right there and we're going to be able to make a lot more solving here for one and let me get rid of the colors you have uh, this one nine, you only got left is a two and an eight in block uh, row, call, excuse me, column five, because you have the eight right here. This is a two, and that's an eight. And then across here, you're looking for a four and a five. Well, I see a five right there, so this has to be the four, and this has to be the five. I love how KX put this cool grid in here for you to solve. It's a lot of fun start to this puzzle. I have more great puzzles in my rewards puzzle pack. Click on the pin comment below to see how you can join the Smart Party to get those exclusive packs plus other exclusive content and perks by being a member of that Smarty Party. Okay, after doing this five, we want to look up here in block three because we just made some marks with the fours. Got this four here, so we can solve that for a four, which gives us two possibilities for four in block one. And then these two fours and this four, we got two possibilities for a four down here in block eight. Okay, after doing that, uh, another neat thing that Chaotix did, I just showed you when you have eight digits looking in a the cell, then you know you can solve it, it's a naked single. Well, let's check this out again. You got a one, let's look at this cell right here, and I'll color the cell this time. You have a one, a two, a three, a four, all looking at the cell there. You got a six, a seven, eight, and a nine. So we can solve this cell. We can solve this. This is the only possibility is a five. And it's neat because you have five along the row, and that's what got me looking at it. And then you have two more in the block, and then you have another one down here in the column. So you got to look all the way around to get that solved. All right. We'll remove that color well it did a little bit more than remove the colors alrighty let's just remove the color there while we're at it okay and move on with our salt because of this five now with these two fives and this five we're gonna be able to make us lots of solves with these fives because of these two fives and this five here we can solve for a five and block seven and with these two fives and this five we can solve for and block nine and now with these two fives and this five we can make our last solve here in block six we just knocked out all of those fives now let's look what we can do with the sixes look across here you know where can a six go in row two well since it's right here can't be in those two spots this has to be your six which gives us a three seven naked pair because it's the only two possibilities left that's a naked pair three and seven have to go in those two spots and i'll finish blocking out here column or excuse me block two it looks like we need a one eight and a nine i got an eight here so 
I'll knock out the eight there and I'll knock out the one right there. And I just created some nice BVCs, buy value sales. And when I start seeing a lot of those, I know there's probably an advanced strategy coming up somewhere. Okay, after doing this three seven, uh, let's look at where our six can be over here. And block one, I got that six, I got this six, it means the six has to be right there. And this is gonna leave us with a two, four, and a nine. And I'm filling these in because I got you know two, three cannons remaining. I feel like I'm getting close to something that we can use here. This can't be a four, this can't be a nine, and this can't be a two. So I just made a whole bunch more buy value cells. I like this. All right, I wonder how we can string these together. Okay, after doing the six, uh, you might notice that this six, oh, excuse me, this six cutting across, this six coming down, uh, sixes are limited to these two spots here in block nine. So that's a pointy pair. And what that means is since the sixes are limited to row nine here in block nine, they can't be anywhere else along the row, which now limits the sixes at these two spots in block eight. Okay, after doing that, you can see with the seven here cutting across, you got two possibilities for seven. So I'll mark those two possibilities for the seven. And now there's one other naked single we can find. We're going to do some more coloring here. We got a five, six, seven, three right there. Okay. And then we have a two and a four here in the block. And it looks like an eight and a nine up here and i'll mark those let's just go purple okay so you have four in the row two more in the block two in the column all looking at this cell eight different digits we know we can solve this cell now for a one okay that's the only thing that can be there this is beautiful and it's a nice naked single but you got to kind of switch back to be able to find that one and let me get rid of the colors and now before i move on in this puzzle, I do want to share my fun fact about Chaotix. I asked him, who helps you with your testing and your ideas? And he said that mainly it's Sed Holeson, who's a fellow solver from the Philippines. Um, and Sed has been featured by Ashish or Kraken the Cryptic. Sometimes he also goes into the Discord server. I love hearing how the Sudoku community helps out the fellow setters. And sometimes he just tests them himself. So I always find that fascinating to kind of see who they're collaborating with on these. Uh, Set is someone I need to like look up and see if I can feature some of his puzzles on my channel. Okay, this is the part where the solving is going to dry up a bit. You can look for some more hidden naked singles, not really going to find much. And once you get to that point, now you got to kind of go, where do we want to look now? You know, what is going to help us get that solved? We can either look for just single candidate strategies or we can do something with these buy value cells and see how they link up. I want to kind of focus on the buy value cells. You notice right here, I got one, two, three, four candidates, you know, one, five, six, seven. Well, I got a nine, eight, four. So there's only two possibilities right here. You know, this could be a two or a three. Okay, and this two or three buy value cell, it shares a two with this cell. You know, this cell right here, this nine, you know, shares a nine with this cell. This is interesting stuff. If we can find a way to eliminate and limit some of the candidates here in this block, we might be able to get some solving done. I notice with this three, three right here, and then we got threes in these three cells possible. Huh. Well, you see how you have this pointing pair of sixes? That means a six can't be here. What could be in here? Well, you could have a one right there. You have a two. We could have a three. Okay. But can't have a four or a five. We can't have a six because of the pointing pair. Can't have a seven, eight, or a nine. Okay, this is a one or a three. Okay, I see something very interesting here. This is a nice advanced strategy. Okay, you look right here, and I'll color that in blue. You know, this cell is either a three or it's a two, right? So it's a conjugate pair within the buy value cell. That means it's you know, if it, the two and the three are conjugate pairs. If it's either one, if it's not the two, then it has to be the three, right? 
Well, this links up with this two up here. And then it has a strong link within the, the conjugate pair of the nine. It links up to this nine and one here. And then this one would link up to this one. And it ends in a three. This is interesting stuff. So, yeah, this cell is a three, right? And anything I see is a three. If it's not a three, this cell would end up being a two, which makes this a nine, which makes this a one, and would make this a three. So either this cell is a three. If it's not a three, we just show that this cell has to be a three. Anything that sees these two cells, you can eliminate a three. So what we just found is an X, Y chain. So it's a chain of all bi-value cells. The strong links are within the bi-value cells. So you always got to start within the cell, three to the two. The weak links are between the cells. So three to the two, two to the nine, nine to the one, one to the three. Start with a three, end with a three. Any cell you see can eliminate a three. And you remember what I said, there's only three cells here that had a three in block seven because of this three. Means since these two cells see here and here, we can eliminate a three from the, as a possibility. The only place left for a three in block seven is right there. Awesome stuff. So this is actually has to be a three now. If you want to learn more about XY chains, check out this tutorial. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. You will solve XY chains even better. So now we can eliminate the colors here. What does that do for our puzzle? Let's see what we can do. How does that affect what we're able to accomplish here? Well, for one, let's look up column three. Okay, I got a one, three, five, six, seven. Looking for a two, four, eight, nine. Well, I have two, four here means this is an eight or a nine. Got a two and an eight here means this is a four or a nine. And you got a two and a nine here means this is a four or an eight. Well, so you might notice is the only place where there's a two is right here. And then these end up being a naked triple. So we can solve for two right here. That's the only place left for two. Awesome, which means this is a four and this is a nine. Let's see where this is going to take us. Now at this nine, this now has to be an eight, okay? And then let's keep moving on here. We need a two and a three, I got a two here. So this is a two, this is a three, okay? And we need, looks like a seven or an eight up here. I got my eight here. So this is the eight, displacing that Snyder seven marks. So we can solve that for a seven, nice. Let's go down column three here. What else can we do? Well, with this two, we're displacing that Snyder two, marking this. We need a three and a six, it looks like. Well, I got three right here, so here's your three, and here's your six. We don't need that Snyder mark anymore. Awesome. And now what do we have here in column seven? It looks like we need a seven and a six. Well, I got a six right here. So there's your seven. There's your six, which leaves a one seven here. Can't solve that yet, but it looks like we have an eight or a nine. I got my eight here. But here's an eight, and here's a nine. All right, what else can we do? Well, with these two eights... And this eight, we can solve this cell now for an eight, which is gonna give us our nine here, our one nine here, and our four right there. All right, we are looking really good here. Let's keep this up. What else can we do? It looks like we need a one, three, four across row nine. Well, I got a one here and a three here. So that's your four, which now displaces this nine or four and makes this a four, okay. Now, what can we do? Look right here, we got a two or a seven. I see my seven. So here's your seven, here's your two. All right, need a three and a seven here. Got my three there. So here's your three, here's your seven. Looking good. And with these two sevens, this has gotta be a seven. That's gotta be a one. Okay, what else we need? A six and an eight, got my eight here. So here's your eight, here's your six, okay. Got a full house here. This is probably going to help us the most. We're only missing the digit nine. So that's got to be your nine, which means this is a one and that's a nine. And now with this one, we know this is a three. Interesting that both of those ended up being a three there, but that's possible. All right. And then now the three, this is going to be a seven. That's going to be a three. Here's your six. Here's your seven. Displacing this Snyder six. So we know we can solve this cell for six. Don't see a one in row nine. That's got to be your one. The last digit is a two. 
XY chains are really versatile. Check out this video to see more ways in which you can apply them. Thank you so much, Chaos, for being my Friday featured setter. You are amazing. Don't forget, check out my Buy Me Coffee page. I appreciate your support. And thank you so much for watching.